I'll show you how to cook crisp fillet of sea bass with a roasted vegetable vinaigrette. So we start by roasting the pepper. Could put it in the oven, a little bit of olive oil. We just want the skin to go black. So a hot oven, 180 degrees for about 20 minutes. Next we'll prepare our courgette. So we're going to slice it on the angle, nice thick chunks. And then we're going to season it with some salt to draw out the water. Then we'll finely dice some red onion. Slice lengthways, one cut that way, and then cut into fine dice. We'll finally chop our garlic, crush it under the blade of your knife, and then just chop finely. So we'll put some fresh basil through the vinaigrette. So we'll pick the leaves and then we'll shred that up. And then the pak choy, just take the bottom off and just separate the leaves. We'll remove the pin bones and score the, the sea bass. So with your knife, just make a cut either side of the bones, just through to the skin, but not through the skin. Both sides, and a little sideways cut, and then pull those pin bones out. Trim the tail off, cut the fillet in half. And then we just want to score the skin. So just give it a little pinch and backwards and forwards with the middle of your knife, just to cut through the skin, just to expose the flesh underneath. Next we'll make the black olive tapenade. So I've got some pitted olives here. We just need to keep chopping them up until we have a rough paste. Just keep chopping, chopping through them. If you have a small food processor, of course you can split them up in one of those. Add some anchovies to the tapenade as well. So just we finally chop them up, mix that with the olives, some of the garlic as well. So we take the pepper out of the oven, you can see the skin's all black. Just going to cover with cling film in a bowl, just to get the skin off. Next we'll roast the courgettes, so you'll see that the water's started to come out of the courgettes and they've gone slightly soft. So we need to dry those first before we roast them. We've got a very, very hot frying pan, no oil, just into the pan. After a couple of minutes, you'll see that they start to blacken. So do both sides. Once the pepper has cooled down, take the cling film off and peel off the skin. Open it up, just remove those seeds. So with the courgettes and the peppers roasted, we'll chop them up just into squares with the pepper. Courgette in half and then into dice. So to make our vinaigrette, red peppers and courgettes, then we add some red onion garlic, olive oil, squeeze a lemon just to give it some acidity, and then plenty of chopped basil. With the vinaigrette ready we can cook the sea bass, season your sea bass, and we're going to pan fry the sea bass skin side down so it goes golden brown and crispy. So once the edges of your sea bass are golden brown, you can transfer this to the oven. It'll take two or three minutes to cook through. Whilst the sea bass is cooking, quickly cook your pak choy. So season with salt. Should still have some water left on them. So just a little drizzle of olive oil, hot pan. In the pan. Leave the lid on. And they'll steam in that water that's left on the leaves. Once the fish is cooked, so flick the sea bass over, squeeze a lemon. Pak choy will have wilted down, nice and soft. So with everything ready, we can start to plate up. So pak choy in the middle of the plate, sea bass on top. Provencal vegetables around the outside. And just a small amount of the tapenade on top of the fish. So there you go, crisp fillet of sea bass with steamed pak choy, Provencal vinaigrette, and a little bit of tapenade.